What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply HTML5 videos using layers on Revolution Slider WordPress plugin in a simple, fast and effective way. So in the previous video of yesterday we did learn how to do the same process using videos from YouTube or Vimeo. So if you are looking for this, go to this video on our YouTube channel. Now let's go to the guide. Before anything, make sure that on your media library you have uploaded your video because you need to have the video uploaded on your library. Okay, here's my video. And I'm gonna apply this on my slider revolution. So go to WordPress dashboard, review the left side of menus and go to slider revolution page. Once right here, we can import a slider or start with a new one or of course edit a previously made slider. I'm gonna create a blank one, okay, so I'm gonna create a slider from the zero. We're gonna load in the, cont the content editor, so welcome to Revolution Slider. We can use the start guide or quit the guide. I'm gonna start the guide. I would like to have a scene, not a slider with dots. I would like to set this as auto. I would like to set use the intelligent design so the slider can adjust automatically on other devices and here's my result. And here is where we're gonna start the fun, okay? So into the add layer at the top, let me apply some zoom. Into the add layer at the top, we can apply text, image, button, shape, video, and this is the one that we are looking for. And the video can be for an empty placeholder. This is how we did on the previous video, but we can use the object library in, to use the library of slider revolution plugin, but we're gonna go to WordPress library, okay? So here is where we're gonna find or select our previously uploaded video or upload a video right here from our computer. Review the maximum upload file size, okay? It can change according to the host you are. We have a tutorial on visualmoto.com explaining how to increase this. This is really important because if you have two MBs, you will not be able to upload a video with seven MBs, for example. So in the case that you have questions about it, use the comment section. I'm going to be happy and guide you, okay? So I am already have uploaded my video, okay? So as you can see, as soon as you upload an MP4 video into our WordPress website, by default, it degenerates a cover image, okay? We will not select the JPG file, okay? We're gonna select the MP4 file, this one. So, select the video, click on insert, wait a moment, and here is the slider. If you hover your mouse over the borders, you can decrease the size, because by default, HTML elements upload the full size of the video but we can decrease with no problems just drag and drop okay click on the borders and increase or decrease the file size let me go to the size options at here at the right side of the editor toolbar and into the position and size i'm gonna align this video to the center of the slider and after this let's go back to the content into this pencil icon as you can see, the video is set to be the HTML5 video. Here is the video link. The video is set to fit the cover, okay? So the possible space into the aspect ratio is gonna be covered by the video. The preload is set as auto, but we can disable in the case that you want. The aspect ratio can be changed, okay? By default, YouTube videos have 16 per nine, okay? The autoplay, we can set on or off, I'm gonna set it as off, so a person needs to click on it to see the video, but it changes according to the way you are, and let's preview the video. And here is the video. Of course, we can combine this video with other elements on our slider, okay, for example, a text layer. Just a moment. We can change like this. 
Now let's go back to my video. I need to click on it now. And review the media poster. Okay, what is the media poster? It's the preview, almost like the thumbnail of the video. We can get the start frame the, that it is by default. Okay, the first frame of the video is the thumbnail. We can select another file for our media library. If I click on it, gonna be opening the media library of my WordPress. So I can select a file. For example, let's imagine that I would like that this image be my video poster, okay? So before clicking on the video and applying the play, this is gonna be my image. We can remove this if I click on it or use the object library. The source type, we can pause the video, we can set no poster on mobiles, we can change the overlay of the video. This is really nice, okay? You can set to not overlay or to do a small overlay, the size, the color, the second color. We can change the advanced media settings, okay? For example, to start order, to move the video, to set, to see the controls, to not see the controls. This is really important. We can even set the time of the video that the video starts and the time that the video that the video ends. But if you upload the video properly, you will have edited the video before uploading. If not, you have these options right here. But we do recommend once you is the one that is gonna be hosting the video and your server gonna be the one that gonna works to make the video loadable, that you upload video in low sizes without much content, okay? Because the loads of the video gonna change according to amount of persons that are gonna be loading your videos, okay? So hosting video is not an easy work we have youtube but if you really need to host your video and use this element choose wisely your videos and how you're gonna use them okay let's preview the video and here is our result simple easy and effective and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question if you do prefer, we have a written guide on our visualmodel.com blog. Talking about the blog, we have daily tutorials explaining every single part of building your website and using your WordPress on your favorite, from marketing to sales, okay, from tutorials to guides. We have many content right here. And in the case that you are looking for an amazing WordPress team and an awesome WordPress plugin to empower your WordPress and create creative contents for free, Go to wordpress.org and search for our Enzo WordPress team and Borless WordPress plugin, okay? With those tools, you can even create amazing layouts in a simple, effective, and free way. And of course, if you want to go to Pro, you have this access to pre-built websites. All of those contents can be yours. So, it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and i see you later. All the best!